time for some cookery, uh, whether it's date night or a weekend treat. Nothing beats a juicy steak for me. Same for you, Kat. Oh, I love it. I uh, love it. <laughs> Donald's here to show us how we can cook it to perfection. I'm going to attempt to. I mean, look, this is the thing. Steak and chips is just a classic. Mm. And everyone, like, I feel like I've been mm. teasing people all morning. Mm. Like, me. You, me. you, you. And there's been a bit of drooling going on. Anyway, look, we're going to nail a very simple way. You can do a whole different co cuts of meat are mm. where it comes down to when you're choosing your steak. We've got ribeye here, but if you wanted to go uber fancy, you go coat de buff, which is a bit thicker, it's on the bone, to a longer cook time, but this is your, this is the standard um, steak you'll get in any supermarket. And what I would say is about, is take it out of the fridge before you're about to cook for at least half an hour to an hour to allow it to come up to Warm temperature. Really? Yeah. You'll get an even cook on it there. I have my pan coming up to temperature. I've been Searing. What? <laughs> Searing. Searing hot. Um, season it. Now, what I would say, when it comes out of the fridge and it's resting, mm -hmm. uh, leave it with some oil, some rosemary, some garlic, and then you're going to season it just before it goes in. I love the salt. Don't of put the salt on too soon, right? Don't put it just at the last minute, exactly, because okay. it does start to change the protein in the, yeah. in the stick. So, I love the fat on love here the as fat. well. Ribeye. It's where the flavour is. I've never right? seen you so excited about <laughs> <laughs> something. Call I would me back. Call yeah, me yeah. back, Shepherd. But I would also say oil your meat and not the pan, because otherwise, if you start adding this in, it's going to start smoking, it's going to start spitting, so it's much easier to oil the steak than it is. And it's the same with you if you're barbecuing, OK? And you just put a little... And, you, and you've been actually relatively sort of sparse with the yeah. oil. With the oil I have, yeah. Well, so there's it's probably quite a fatty cut, right? Exactly. So ribeye does have that fat, that sinew, and what you want to do is, like, normally, you, if you like rare steak, fine, but with a ribeye, medium rare to ensure that you render out the fat and that you get really great flavour from it. Mm. So, yeah, we're in the right place. So last little season of black pepper and sea salt on the, on the other side of it. Um, finishing touches. So this is going to cook about two to three minutes either side. Wow. But when we flip it, we're going to add butter and we're going to baste it and we're going to make gorgeous things. And that's really your moment to kind of flavour up the steak. How do you know when it's done? Because I think Prue over there, I've been watching your show, Prue. There's a lot of pressure like... with Prue Lee sitting <laughs> over here. She, she tests it by the different fingers yes. that you that you hold your oh, finger yeah. and thumb together yeah. and then you then you test on the, on the, the steak. On, right? so how do you media or what's it, rare like this? Yeah. With your index to that's your fine. thumb. Yeah, that's fine. Middle finger. Yeah. You mustn't push hard, you must just hold them. So when you just hold it like that, that's Rare. Oh, OK, so you're using the, the paddy yeah. here. Yeah. OK, that's and, rare. And then when you get right down to the, um, oh, yes. the pink... Yeah. That's stick it in the bin. It's really hard, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's, cr that's the sort that's of... Over that. it's exactly in the bin. That's cremated. In the bin. You're done. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> it's well done at that point. OK, um, so we have our steak. It's going to cook quite quickly as well. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a little bit of a trick. So if you are nervous of cooking your chips in a deep, deep fat fryer this vibe. We're going to go a little bit of a tweak here. Now, Prue, you can keep an eye on things. This might not be the traditional way. We're going to put the chips into a cold oil and we're going to bring it up slow. I know, I know. Stick with oh, me. Oh, look at the face. Stick, Stick with me. Yeah, I know, no. Prue. <laughs> I'd be, be questioning fire. myself if you're making faces like that. Um, what do you think, Prue? Well, I saw the pictures before and yeah. they looked amazing. Yeah, they're not really real, though. Delicious. That's a joke, by the way. <laughs> they are real. <laughs> they are real. <laughs> it is all real, I promise but you that. I, uh, but doesn't the... Oh, I can't believe it, because I would never put them in cold fat, because you think the fat would just get into the potatoes. It's and... almost like confying the potato. So you're right. slowly bringing it up, and what I end up getting is this gorgeous... Yeah, I show... Teaching Prue Lee for thing or something. Yeah, I know. Donor, by the way. <laughs> I don't need to tell you, <laughs> Prue. You know what you're talking about. It's a school day. I mean, I could understand that with butter, because butter has a one most wonderful flavour. Yeah. Mm. So confit is usually in butter, but... Yeah. Mm. Stick with me. I'll tr you'll try these chips. They're absolutely right. fantastic. Well, and, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and convince you. Okay. Um, so we've turned the steak, and at this point now, turn down the heat ever so slightly. This is an incredibly hot hob, but uh, we're going to go in with plenty of butter. And remember, we have the rosemary in there as well. Yes. So the chips are coming up to temperature. They're working away. In fact, I don't need the heat anymore. Mm -hmm. We're going to cook this on the other side, and we've got rosemary and garlic in there as well. So we're just going to baste and continue to baste. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's two to three minutes either side, so um, really nice, especially with the thinnest. But I would say... Keep your eye on it. And everyone talks about, you know, cooking with recipes. Obviously, something like steak, especially with the thickness, it really is about using the feel, the touch, the smell, see what's in front of you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what I do love, about, as you baste this, your butter starts to go nutty and brown and yeah. gorgeous. And it just, all those flavours come together and you get something gorgeous. I, I feel Love so it. under pressure with fruit. I uh, once had Mary. Uh, <laughs> that's so that. good. And, and I'm, I'm so impressed because what you've got ri is ribeye there. Yeah, yes. ribeye. Which I think is the best taste because it? it has a bit of fat in it. Absolutely. So yeah. it has the flavour. 
So, so good. So we have our steak um, cooking off. It's pretty much done at this point. The trick is to leave it to rest for the same amount of time it's cooked and to allow it to sit under the, the tin foil, which we have here. Uh, you could keep it in a low oven if you fancy. Uh, I'll have to put this somewhere that doesn't scald the countertop. Mm -hmm. um, we've got our lovely steak. So at this point now, we have steak that has rested. Oh, it's let me go on the chips We're now, in the right Drew. place now. So these so are the chips the, that you've done with the cold and then you do them with the... Takes a little slowly longer. heating them up. Yeah, so we've got our vegetable oil, sunflower oil, whatever you fancy. It slowly cooks and you bring it up to temperature at the end to brown them. Mm -hmm. But you get these gorgeous crispy results. So really, really simple. Give them a go. Let me know what you think. I love he says give them a go as though I've <laughs> tried them before. She's had half a bucket already. <laughs> But I want to know how they got from that cold there to this. Yeah. How long does that take, though? Uh, about 20 minutes, 20 minutes or so. Um, but you keep an eye on it. And as well, you know, it's, again, it's touch and feel. So we have our beautiful chips. I'm just going to move them over here. Are you going to be OK with that? Uh, we have our steak, which is ready to rock. So I'm going to uh, serve this up. Look at these. They are oh, really are absolutely gorgeous. Just butter, just rosemary and a little bit of salt and pepper. Prue, okay. you do one on your show, I saw, with the cafe butter, where mm. it's like orange rind, there's like a little bit of mustard. What else got, do you... It's got absolutely everything in it. Right. It looks delicious, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is really, and um, very finely chopped garlic and... Yeah. It's, it's got everything in it. But Fabulous. It's, Fabulous. It's so really We have gorgeous, and you can see, it's, you know, this is... That's the way I like it. Perfect. Steak. Blushing and gorgeous. Is that how you like it as well, Prue? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. God, the pressure, I'm, the I'm pressure. Dri I'm dribbling now. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming your way. Too. But before we finish up, I'm going to show you a very simple aioli. Oh, wow. So you can do this by, you know, you can cheat, completely cheat, um, by making uh, a cheats version of home, just store-bought mayonnaise and mm. grate in some garlic. Mm. And it's not going to be the same, but this classic way of making an aioli is really simple. We're just going to whisk in, slowly dripping in the oil, um, mm. and you, the, you have to take care not to split it. You can do this in a food processor as well if you want to uh, speed up your time but basically yeah and you get a blender sort of mayonnaise essentially um, and then you can split it with a little bit of lemon juice you could add tarragon there's so many different things but garlic is the key thing to give us that really nice thing mm -hmm. um, which I forgot to add in front of Pruley well, <laughs> so, a little bit of grated garlic in there and some mustard oh, do you know what you Mary know, Berry the... once came on while I was making a pavlova and I was I, she spooked me as much as you're spooking me right now <laughs> uh, so look but... this is the the a, the, uh, the base the basis of it is to whisk it up, add your oil, finish it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil just to finish it, to round it out, mm -hmm. and a little squeeze of lemon juice, and you have an aioli, you've got steak and chips, and you have a proper feast right. for a Thursday. So yeah, shall we tuck in? Uh, I'm going to pass it down your way. Down. We could... There we go. Let's see what you think. Absolutely there you go. Absolutely gorgeous.